Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm D Hicks. Today I'll be reviewing the app launcher called Action Launcher 3. Let's get started. Okay. First, let's scroll to the left to reveal an app panel. Here you can access all your apps on your phone. You can also do scroll by the alphabets here. Okay. To access the options to this uh, launcher, you just long press. Here you can add wallpapers. And you can access widgets here. Okay. Also, in order to get another page on your home screen, you have to uh, add a widget or app to it. Let's add a, a widget. Okay, let's go to the right. Okay, I didn't want it on this page. It's already a page here. So I went to another page. Now I made a third page. You have to simply... Uh, move the widget to the page I want to see us this the other page second page I have this the first page if you want to uh, add another page so you simply uh, add an app or a widget okay here you can access the settings okay we got quick theme quick bar display desktop app drawer shortcuts and you can back up and import here. Okay, let's go into quick theme. Here, you can change the uh, all apps background, quick draw background, and the folder background here. And I got the main theme as material dark. It can change. You can change the uh, themes here. I have it on material dark. And if you want a quick bar on the uh, home screen, you just simply click on here. And you can choose the uh, bar you want. Let me choose the bar. I'll choose this one. Okay. And press OK. And here, once you uh, select your quick bar, it gives you options, what you want on your uh, quick bar. And here's more options here to choose to put on there. You push the plus here. And here you can change and add whatever you want on it. Here's a lot of presets, and if you want a custom, you just hit the uh, custom design it where you want to okay since I don't want uh, let me show you on the home screen let me get it back on okay as you can see it's on the on the screen it goes from screen to screen okay let's go back into settings now you can go into the uh, display here where it can change your icon pack 
it shows a list of our compacts I have on installed you simply click on which one you want and you press OK you can change the font and you can change cover shutter indicators which is these here little indicators on the front of it it'd be on the corner of your apps if you have three uh, choices here you can either uh, if you want to show those on there you can if you don't you just select that and you won't see them on the apps on the f okay here you can set your screen orientation and you can also change your open app animations here's you got three options here I think you uh, if you want to select to show your status bar in your uh, app drawer. Okay. Now desktop here's where you uh, can change your icon scale size here. You can either select to show your text labels here you can change the grid pattern of your home screen which I said mine was an 8 by 5 and you can change the scroll effects here I'm at default and also you can change your uh, dock you can ha add where you can have uh, more minutes uh, apps to show in your dock you can either also choose to show if you want to show the home screen indicators scrolling wallpaper screen edge shadow shutters and you can have auto covers on your folders and you can lock the desktop app drawer this is where you can make some customizations you can hide apps remember positions from where you uh, open the app you can change the uh, style of your drawer page or vertical grid got in paged and you can change your grid size here in portrait and landscape you can change the icon scale you can sort put in a sort mode here you can sort it by name most used or installed time and uh, here you can probably uh, have leather shortcuts Here in shortcuts here it's uh, just another name of uh, gestures here I have a tap I have a set tap em empty space I have double tap to lock the uh, device and triple tap the uh, open voice search and here's some more options you can have swipe up swipe down swipe horizontal pinch you can change a lot of gestures here and you can back up your uh, settings and import your settings here Overall, it's a nice launcher. It's uh, clean, easy to use, and if you don't want a uh, launcher with all the options, this is one of the uh, launchers you can get on the Play Store. Uh, you don't feel like doing a whole bunch of customization. This is very minimal. Like I said, I triple tap 
to open up a Google search, voice search. And you uh, double tap, uh, triple tap, okay. If you just said something, I didn't hear what it was. There, double tap and you uh, turn the screen off. Other than that, it's a nice clean uh, launcher. It's easy to use. It's lightweight, and if you don't want all the options like ADW launcher or the Nova launcher, you can get this launcher. It's available in the Google Play Store, and it's um, I think it's I've been using it for a week, and I think it's a uh, a pretty good launcher. I can't tell how smooth free uh. Uh, how smooth it is or lag free it is because I got a testing this out on a, a blue phone and the blue phone don't have enough RAM so I'm thinking I'm not doing it justice of saying how smooth it is or lag free it is but I believe with a phone with more RAM it would be uh, very smooth feel free to leave a comment below Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.